Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Haram, and I am so glad to be able to share all of this good stuff that the Lord be telling me. So, check this out, right? I was watching a movie the other day, and it was actually a Christmas movie. And as I was watching it, because I was like, oh, like, I like all the festivities. Like, I like the things that happen around, like, Christmas, like, going out, seeing the lights, like, um, you know, and then, like, all the fall things. So, <laughs> you know, like, getting the coffee or the hot chocolate, like, going to the festivals, like, the thing, walking through the city, like, those things are so beautiful. I love Christmas movies, you know? And so... And I'm not talking about, like, the movies with Santa Claus. Like, I'm just talking about as people, you know, are, like, uh, romantic, like, uh, movies of, like, families and, like, just Christmas, okay? So, I enjoy those things. And so, I was watching a movie and I was just thinking, like, wow, like, I really do enjoy the festivity of these things, right? And then all of a sudden, I, I believe like a commercial came on and it was like talking about like Christmas and Santa Claus. And then immediately the Lord starts to just share with me like, and hey, y'all, this is some deep revelation. Let me just start there. This is for mature viewers only because of this revelation, I never even knew. <laughs> <laughs> until the Lord actually started to talk to me about it I never thought about it but like since my surrenderance to God like you know 2021 and then completely completely like 2022 man like and then, you know, like that Santa Claus movie came out and then like, and I didn't watch it. I just saw the, the clip of it and where like Santa Claus spelled Satan, right? And that I think was the beginning of the eye opening thing. Like, whoa, right? Anyways, so as I was watching the commercial, right, of Santa Claus, like God was pointing out to me like Santa Claus like how he's on the man hold on this is this is new revelation I didn't think about the sleigh <laughs> oh my goodness okay so you guys so like God was just saying magic so God had brought magic to my mind right and like how Christmas is around magic right but God is not magic right God is Holy Spirit right magic is like witchcraft so if you're ever thinking like of magic in the word magic which is actually a word that he like addressed to me anyways like you know if I'm talking about him like because you know how sometimes like we like to be like when we see like mystical things or like supernatural things like in my transition I used to say like the word magical like God is like magical but he would like convict me on it and like no not magical like he would always like say magical is with witchcraft and so I was like okay God like teach me on how to um like correlate you with like the supernatural and the word supernatural instead of saying magical because I'm like that's an insult really you know and so it was like teach me how to use the words you want me to use because coming out of the world like you're intertwined with it right and so like I would think a lot of like anything supernatural I would just always correlate it with magical and I would be like god like I need another word because that's not you you're not magic and so you know I'm like majestic like I was just like god give me words for you and so you know he started to like just really separate the two and I remember there was a while even where I would like get ready to say the word magic and I had to check myself and be aware of the words I was using when I was talking about god and so that was something that he wanted to out like uproot from my vocabulary when speaking about him so back to magic right so when we see the words magic or we see magical things happening it goes with witchcraft right and when you think about santa claus and when they glorify santa claus what they're doing is glorifying satan because if christmas is as you know the christians and you know people like to say about god 
even worldly people, right? If we're saying that Christmas is for God, then why are we glorifying Santa Claus instead of God? Why is Santa Claus coming in the house? Like, where witches and stuff say magic, what it is on God's side is the Holy Spirit's power. And so God was saying, like, how everything that Christmas is supposed to represent, they take it away from him to glorify Santa Santa Claus and Santa Claus becomes this idol right he's riding on the sleigh right magic and then it's like um god what do you call them? oh yeah reindeers <laughs> thank you lord hallelujah and so reindeers right so it's based around magic and the face of it is Santa Claus and the and if you mix those letters up of Santa it is Satan right it goes back to idolatry you guys it comes back to idolatry and so when it comes to Christmas, we really shouldn't be out here like, first of all, let me just say like having a Christmas tree up decorating your christmas tree is not a sin right the issue becomes when you start to glorify those things if you are sitting at the christmas tree and you're praying to the christmas tree like that's an issue that is an issue right when god speaks about like uh the people in the bible and how like israel and things were sinning and how they would you know cross um like what, what do I call it um how they would get themselves involved of the traditions of other cultures right the problem was they were picking up other cultures traditions when they already had the true living God and so they would trade in the true living God for these idols and for these lowercase g gods and so when we're saying we are like celebrating Christmas we really need to make sure that Christ is being glorified because there is no Christmas without Christ in there and so when we are spending time with our children I don't have any but like in our family and our friends we really should be glorifying God we really should be talking about his birth and I'm not saying by any means that Jesus was really born on the day that we call Christmas at all but what I am saying is it's completely different from Halloween. Obviously, we know Halloween glorifies Satan. There's nothing about Halloween that glorifies God. But what we are trying to do on Christmas is glorify Jesus. And so in doing so, we need to make sure that we're actually doing so. Christmas is not about buying your loved ones and going broke and struggling and having issues just to buy people gifts. If anything, you know, what I think would be beautiful is to go to home shelters to go out into the city and for churches to go ahead and preach about God and also not you know I mean if possible maybe this is an outreach thing but if churches would even gather their communities and instead of making Christmas a thing that's just about you and your family and celebrating with gifts, actually go into the earth to give, you know, and out into the world to give back to the community and to glorify God. Go into homeless shelters, go into the prison, go into the places, you know, that people normally might not go. Or do go to, you know, the, um, God, what was it? Nursing homes into the hospital hospitals and preach about the good news and give bibles out right if you want to bake cookies and stuff like that go into these places and talk to them about jesus spread the good news right because christmas should be about god and glorifying god what would god do if he was in the earth and was here for christmas right what would be the best way to resemble his character and to save souls? Because it's not about gifts, you guys. It is not about gifts. Jesus Christ is the gift. He is the best gift anybody could ever give or receive. More than money, more than clothes, more than jewelry, more than like everything more than the house more than the car more than the career like he's more than anything because even satan can open doors to you getting a new car getting a new home you know soaring in your business all these things but we also know that what he gives you must feed him to continue to receive right it's a continual trade-off it's a continual sacrifice
And I'm not talking about the good kind of sacrifice, right? And so, in all of this stuff, God is the best. Without God, life is purposeless. It is meaningless. Like, you cannot live life without God or else you would already be in hell. The fact that we are on the earth, we are getting God and we are getting part of hell, right? It's the mixture. It's the part where we get to see what we would get from whatever kingdom it is we are going to go to after this. We get the mixture. That way with our free will, we get to decide which kingdom we want to go to in the end. Do we want to go to heaven and be with God or do we want to go to hell and be with Satan. This is the mixture, but hell is the absence of God. So it's the grace removed. It is his presence removed. It is the kindness, right? Removed, the love removed. And so when it comes to Christmas, you guys, make sure that we are not idolizing or glorifying the lowercase g by glorifying and putting on the top of the Christmas tree Santa Claus because Santa Claus is just a distraction to keep people from really getting to know spend time with and glorify God Satan is Santa Claus because he becomes the idol that takes away from God right and like I said, it is idolatry. And so going into the new year, it's very, very wise to start to pay attention to the things God is teaching us and what he's saying to us and to repent, to repent, right? When you get knowledge, you do not have to remain ignorant. You do not have to shut off what people say because you aren't ready for it. Why would you want to prolong your suffering? When God is trying to free you. And so again, Christmas, right, is supposed to be for God. But what happens is Satan threw in a Santa Claus to distract you from the true meaning of Christmas. To distract you from the pure purpose of God. And to make it about selfish things, right? What do you want for Christmas? What is somebody getting you for Christmas? It becomes a you thing. It's no longer about God because when you give the exchange and the gift, if you don't get what you want, now your Christmas is ruined. Now you wish you never gave the gift that you gave because maybe you spent more money on it, right? And maybe they didn't go all out the way you want. Christmas be can become so messy. And so many people can become ungrateful. Like, even if, like, somebody, like, gives from their heart. You know, some people don't even care if it's from their heart. Even though this person slaves to get you the gift that they were able to afford you. Right? You look at them different. Because... You low-key have a better job and spent all this money, but they came short in what it was that you've asked for. And so it goes back to it being about us, right? Didn't the Bible say in the last days we'll be, we will become lovers of ourselves? No, we are supposed to give. <laughs> the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. It is better to know Jesus and give people Jesus than a gift. That will become old and will never save your life nor your soul. And so, you know, let's just be wise of things, you know. And I keep thinking and keeps coming to my mind even Saturdays, right? Saturday is supposed to be the Sabbath, right? It's really the seventh day, right, where the church is supposed to be. But it got turned to Sunday to make it more convenient. But a day that was supposed to be so sacred and holy, right, and on the rest day end up being a day where Satan used it to amplify, right, and turn up the heat on clubbing <laughs> club days are you know and I used to I used to go to clubs back in the day Saturdays are the days where it's popping and it becomes the most defiled day people aren't really going to spend time with God even on the seventh day which is the Saturday it became the most dirtiest day instead of the most holy day 
right? But anyways, <laughs> God wanted me to bring that up. So I know it's for somebody. But other than that, you guys, let's make Christmas about Christ, about Jesus. It is never a bad time to teach anybody about Jesus. So why not go into the community and give back, right? Introduce people to God because he's the best gift we will ever receive. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.